Hey, how's it going, guys? Phil Montelio and the book peddler here, taking you into my SUV, ready to make a long trip to Penyan, New York. It's over a couple hours away, but this estate woman says that there's more books here than she's ever seen in her life. It's a generational collection, and she's having trouble knowing how to handle it. So, I mean, I made it very clear that I'm coming to buy. So she's got to be a motivated seller, and she assures me she is to some extent. She's not going to part with them all, but um, we'll see what happens. I'm going to get in there and make an offer. Of course, for the biggest um, collection she's ever saw, I'm short on boxes, so that should be interesting <laughs> if I get a full load packing them in. But uh, we'll see how it goes. It's it's quite a diff distance for me, so. You know, it better be worth it. She they had the ability to send me pictures, so I'm taking her word for it. Normally, I want pictures before I go on a trek like this. Um, it's bitter cold. Christine Baroni, if you're watching, please fly me to where you are. I'm not built for this weather, and I'll give you all the books you want for, for your sunshine. <laughs> so, anyhow, um, yeah, I'm about to head out. What's nice is I get a, got an actual address. Half the people around here, I mean, they're real well-meaning, but they don't know of GPS, I don't think. I mean, it's like, uh, well, if you take 369, and then you're going to come to an oak tree at the end of the road. But if you hit old man Fletcher's house, you've gone too far, and Fletcher don't like you, turn around in his drive. You know, stuff like that. And and it's like, okay, so when I hit the oak tree, yada, yada, and it's, it's just too much, <laughs> especially when they're give me directions that are you know an hour away it's kind of funny but uh anyhow you know, people are well meaning so hey look if you have it please like and subscribe to my channel the book peddler you come with me on pics like today um and and you always are have the ability to whatever you see you have the ability to purchase if you're interested so um okay i'm on the road i'll see you guys when i get there try to take a little video inside if they're comfortable with it We'll see you guys. Show you the drive a little bit. I'll be there in about 30 minutes. Nice country, huh? Well, it's been a nice drive, nice countryside, driven through some nice towns. Some of the towns I go through, you're prone to see a pregnant 13 year old smoking cigs out front. <laughs> but maybe it's too cold out there watching cartoons. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you enjoy my videos, guys. I'm taking you a trip a couple hours up north from me. And uh, we're going to get into these books. Real estate's quite high out here, but uh, beautiful country. Look at this view. Yep. Upstate New York's a beautiful, beautiful area. Ain't no other way about it. All right, guys, I made the pickup. Um, SUV is filled again with books. I didn't even have enough boxes. And I got some great stuff up front. Um, I actually got I'll back this away a little bit. I actually had the ability to handle some books from the early 1600s. One of them was uh, The Life of Merlin, 1641 first edition. Extremely rare, obscure book. It was so beautiful. Um, I made her a very generous offer on it. I wanted it bad, but she's just not ready to sell the early stuff yet. But who knows? Maybe in a, you know... They got my contact information, maybe in a few months or so, you know, but I made a great pickup today. It's quite a variety of stuff, um, so I was excited, but it's getting a little dark, and I got to get on the road, and hey, I hit uh, 500 subscribers, over 500 subscribers, so I really appreciate that, guys, everyone out there. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. And um, maybe I'll do it before this video, but I'll put out a special one to all the subscribers. Just shout outs to, to all of you. But yeah, I got a long road ahead of me. I just wolfed down some uh, chicken wings. Um, it was a bit, what would you call it, uh, suspect. <laughs> put it that way. 
I don't know, uh, but the place was suspect to begin with. But um, you know me, I love adventure, right? So, okay, guys, yeah, this is the town. I'll flip it. Just a nice uh, early town. Uh, I think it was settled in 1894, uh, but pretty cool. So, okay, I'm going to get back to the shop, start processing, and I'll show you the uh, the special finds when, when we get back. All right. All right, guys. The first thing I'm going to show you is some ephemera. Um, this here is really cool. Okay, I'm just showing you what's written. This is 1810. Okay, I'm doing this with one hand, so you're going to have to be a little patient. But this is a land deed granted, let's see what's on here. This is granted by uh, King George. So it says, seated and delivered, being, um, it looks like, first duty. Um, I can't read the, the, something in the presence of. And then it's a name there, Sam Reddings, and looks like Edwin Piercing. And you got, you know, some stamp and everything. So let me open this up. I'm going to hit pause. And check that out, huh? And there we go. This is some very thick paper. This is what it was sealed by with wax and sign down there. So, uh... There you go. I'll just uh, put the camera over it. March 23rd. In the reign of our sovereign lord, George Third. By the grace of God, of the United Kingdom of Great Britain, in Ireland, King Defender of the Faith, and in the year of our Lord, 1810. Between Benjamin Fieldhouse of the city of Worcester, um, gentleman of the one part, and John Williams of Pitt Maston, in the bounty of Worcester, Esquire of the other part. So it goes on and on. I, I'm obviously I'm not going to read you the whole thing, but how cool, huh? Really cool piece of ephemera. Um, so yeah, that that was part of it. I'll show you the rest here in a minute. I like to think I get some pretty cool stuff in now. Um, the woman was did do some book binding, and it looks like her mother was interested in stuff too. And this whole box, these are my favorite on top. These came from uh, Boswell's early 1800s book. I'm going to do a little more research on them. But look at these. I thought, how perfect to frame these. Northumberland. Take you through these. Cardigan Castle. I mean, these are going to be beautiful frame. And I'm I'm debating how exactly to go about this. I mean, either I'm going to sell them individually or um, maybe as uh, one collection. We'll, we'll see. Um, I'm going to take a minute. Look at that. My God, beautiful work. So I'm just going to keep flipping through this. Everything's for sale, guys. Everything is for sale. Um, some of this stuff, though, I'm going to have to get back with you on because I'm so swamped and I'm going on another large book pick in two days that will fill the SUV as well. So, But um, aren't these just the magnificent? That's a good word. I, I get a kick out of this anyhow. Okay, I'm almost done with these, and I'll show you the rest in the box. Reading Abbey in Berkshire. Okay, now there's more. These ones, see that, this is the thing. If you come across tattered books, you can still preserve the plates and stuff in them. And you can frame them, you can sell them as is from these early books. They do have value. So let me see if there's any more here. Well, I know there is, but... So, there's another one. These are great. You know, to the right person, they're going to want to put that on one of their walls. All right, let's continue on. 
Now I'm not going to go through the whole box, but uh, so I made an offer on this whole lot before I even made an offer on the books actually. But I don't want to get these mixed up because they are in a particular order. Let's see what we have here. And trust me when I say there, there just are some really great ones in here. Oh, look at the ladies. We got we to gotta bring back bonnets. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Some ladies in bonnets. Let's see what this one is. You see, see that freak Cardi B in a bonnet? So cool stuff. Let me um let me do a little dig in here. All right, I'm gonna hit pause again. Okay, here's another one. Great imagery. So I mean, I sell all over the world. So predominantly, there's a lot of uh, English ones but that is fine fallen soldier let's see if we can get a better a better picture here i'll tell you denier combat charlotte very cool so yeah i i have a whole box filled with this stuff I, i'm not gonna go through it all it's 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 quite a bit but um you know, beautiful stuff. And then while, while I have it on the table, so her mother lived in India. She lived in Spain and um, Portugal, I believe. And these were all these little travel booklets. So I thought, okay, I'm going to put these all together probably, sell them as is. These are real neat. These are, they're, they're like tw different there's like 20 different pictures of the cities that she had been in really neat they're, they're probably if i had to guess like 15 20 bucks a piece um but I, I i saw them in the box of ephemera i said yeah i'm gonna uh scoop them up um anything like this that's that it, it, it's got some good vintage to it um welcome to egypt uar um here's a here's a train one i thought this would be a good pickup i thought in my head yeah, maybe 18 bucks Benice alps railway switzerland cool huh so the travel books like this i think are really good pickups um i've always had pleasant surprises with them and um okay guys i'm gonna get some more books on the table because um, you know, my videos have been pretty long lately and I, I, I want to try to make them a little bit more digestible. And, uh, so I hope I'm, you know, anyhow, okay, I'll see you in a minute. All right. So here's another set and the camera looks a little foggy. Sorry if it is, but this is the Waverly novels. They're all, uh, leather bound, obvious condition issues. Um, the original set. I think it's like 26 volumes, but I got these to preserve them basically. <clears throat> so these are 1836 and I, I will sell these at some point still, e even with the significant condition issues, um, they will sell. So let me show you the title page. Waverly. Le oh, wow. Volume 45. There are far more volumes than I thought. 1836. Parker's edition. So I basically got these to preserve them. Some are in better shape than others. I'll determine how I go about <clears throat> dealing with these. Um, if 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 anything, there'll be uh, decorative pieces on a shelf that someone will pay for. But um, nice, you know, calf bound leather, and they are what they are. So, all right, on to the next. All right, here we go, guys. I don't know why this camera, the lighting must be bad. <laughs> but the, this is a beautiful little leatherette set. Uh, deep blue. It's just gorgeous. Turn of the century. See if we can... Nope, can't see that, of course. Let's see this one. All right, Plutarch. Lives, uh, English by Sir Thomas North. So there are different 
pockets of books in this, like I think Plutarch's is six volumes, all six will be there. The dates range, I'll just show you inside quick. But I I believe I'll have good good success with these ones. Um so here we go. Oh that in ten volumes, volume four. Okay. Published in London, JM Dent. You know, these are just great. And what I'll do is I'll sell them, you know, there's Plutarch's Lives, there's Francis of Assisi, and I'll, I'll sell them in, in their, um, you know, in in their uh, plots, I guess. I don't know what the heck else to call it. Now, I found these great. I love these things. I love uh, these travel books. Here's one, Northern Italy. Here's another Italian one. Um, this one's 19... 25 this one's 1930 uh 30s i love baddickers i believe that's how you say it but i'll just take you inside quick um it has its um issues but they have maps in them see you got your pull out maps and they these are just great publications i i've traditionally had pretty good success with these um so those got me excited. I mean, this one could be forty dollars to seventy-five to who knows, maybe even a hundred just for that one. So those are good. And then I'll show you this nice set: Mikhail uh, Sholokov in Quiet Flows the Sun. This is a four-volume set. Oh, I'm sorry, in Quiet Flows the Dawn. So it's a complete set with the jackets. This was actually printed in the Soviet Union. And I really like the look of this set. I, I, I've, I've heard the author's name. I'm not overly familiar, you know, with, with, with him. But I just, uh, I, I knew that there was some type of value there. And there is. So it's got its, um, you know, issues with the edge wear. Um, are any of these price clips? Sometimes I thought one of them was... But really cool. So this came with key principle to characters. Let me see here. Okay. There's Mikael. And here's the title page right there. Let's look on the back. And there we go. Printed in the Union of Soviet Socialist Republic. Cool set. Had to have it. Okay, I'll be right back. We're firing away. We're on a run. I'm back. Jean-Louis Provost, Bouquets, JLM Poré, Paris Etching Society, big, beautiful etchings. I, I think this should have came with four, I'm not completely certain, but um, it's got three. I said, you know, three's better than, than one or none, so that was really cool scoop that right on up and um see what else that we got here kashangara <laughs> painting your guess is as good as mine it's indian i don't speak indian so here we go first off i'll show you the boards Oop. nice and clean now i actually thought that this would have a little more value than i believe what it does because i i tried to do a quick a quick search on it <clears throat> but you know i'm moving very quickly to separate things looks like she paid 35 dollars for it originally but very large beautiful oversized book and look at the plates on this huh let's get you close very very cool protected by you know the tissue guard right there and um it's filled with this it's it's i i really liked it when i see something like this i immediately like think in my head you know minimum 50 bucks so very very cool and so you got your plates and accompanying them is uh the description here on it so i'll show you a couple more here if you're interested mm -hmm. 
I mean, overall, in pretty good shape. I really like this book. And I don't think I'll have much trouble selling this. But books like this, I, I, I hold off on listing it, to be honest, because they are a little difficult to, to list. But there's that. And I'm going to keep it moving, guys. All right. So here's a bunch of sci-fi books. <clears throat> Alice of Fantasy. Barlow's Guide to Extraterrestrials. I'll take you to these, uh, to the spines. Some of them are book club. Some of them aren't. I think I have another box in the vehicle as well. I don't know why the screen is so foggy. Tons of paperback, sci-fis. So... Yeah, getting through it. I'll flip it quick. It's uh, 12 o'clock. I've been up since 6. But uh, that's all right. That's what you got to do. So I want to get this, uh, the rest of the vehicle hold out. It's, it's um, I'm, I'm planning on finishing this video all in one night. And uh, I'm going to pro I have uh, two boxes left. And the vehicle's filled with, um, we, we kind of randomly scattered books. I'll actually show you the vehicle from in here. Freezing. Absolutely freezing out. So there we go. Still have a lot to go through. But we're getting there. We're going to get there. So anyhow, shop's a mess again. I also got this, um, you know, I separate the books like the ones immediately to go online or in the shop. Um, you know, that's, that's how I kind of go about this. And then the rest goes, goes to be put away. I, I, I have a, uh, Mark Twain, um, this, uh, uh, it's missing one volume. So this is a 25 volume set. That's pretty nice. I, I'll be able to, I should be able to sell that fairly quickly, but, um, anyhow. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Here we go, another nice set, John J. Autobahn, two-volume set, for Birds of America. I, I really like this set here. Um, let's see what it says, the original watercolor paintings by John James Autobahn for the Birds of America. Um, 1966, reproduced in color for the first time from the collection of the New York Historical Society. So, very nice uh, set of books here. I think there's some pullouts as well. Very clean. Yep, there are. Let me see. I'll get into one here. Yep, there you go. Pretty cool. Um, internally, they're 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 beautiful. They're held very well. Uh, volume two has. Uh, some condition issues here but uh besides that pretty darn nice and then i got uh i pulled out another here we go this is murray's handbook south italy sicily part two beautiful book again like the earlier ones with pull out maps i love these things very informative you could frame the maps if you wanted to that's where my family's from, Palermo. All right, Catania too. Carl Ackley's Africa, first edition. She's a beauty. I uh, know just a guy who would like to have this if he doesn't already. Has its issues, obviously, coming undone here. But nice for what it is. Okay, so it's actually a third printing. Still solid book, very nice book. And I love stuff like this. I always pick these things up. Um, Consolidated Gas Company in New York, a history. Um, nice collector's book. Illustrated. So, people dig these. These are nice collector's items. Not sure of value. Um, it, 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 it could probably range between 50, a hundred bucks. So then this one, uh, let's see here. 
uh, history of Montreal, past and present. If I had to put a, there's no date on it, but if I had to put a guess, pro probably 20s or 30s. So there's the title page. Portfolio of pictures of Montreal and surroundings co comprising reproductions of paintings by Canadian artists showing historical places as they stand today together with a collection of carefully chosen photographs giving a comprehensive panorama of our great city. Very cool. Again, I, I tend to have pretty darn good success with um, stuff like this. So it's chewed up on the back. But nonetheless, it is what it is. Okay, let me see if there's anything else, guys. All right, guys, it's one in the morning. I'm closing this video out. I uncovered another uh, box of all sci-fi fantasy, which which should go good. It's always popular. I have a couple more to go, but I'm done. It's one something in the morning. I've been up since six, and I've been working at this solidly from ten to one you saw me all up and spry earlier and now i'm just i'm just beat and exhausted so i gotta i gotta eat something go to bed um but i appreciate you sticking with me through this video i'll put it out some point here soon and if you haven't you know like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you're seeing again everything you see is for sale follow the um the seller site you can see as new material goes on up, you see something in a video, direct contact me. Um, I hope everybody's doing well out there. Appreciate all the support, guys. And, um, okay, that's all I got to say. All right, till next time, see you later. Hey, how's it going, guys? Phil Montelio the book peddler here, taking you into my SUV, ready to make a long trip to Penya, New York. It's over a couple hours away. But this estate woman says that there's more books here than she's ever seen in her life. It's a generational collection. And she's having trouble knowing how to handle it. So, I mean, I made it very clear that I'm coming to buy. So she's got to be a motivated seller. And she assures me she is to some extent. She's not going to part with them all. But um, we'll see what happens. I'm going to get in there and make an offer. Of course, for the biggest um, collection she's ever saw, I'm short on boxes. So that should be interesting <laughs> if I get a full load packing them in. But uh, we'll see how it goes. It's it's quite a diff distance for me. So, you know, it better be worth it. She didn't have the ability to send me pictures, so I'm taking her word for it. Normally I want pictures before I go on a trek like this. Um, it's bitter cold. Christine Baroni, if you're watching, please fly me to where you are. I'm not built for this weather. And I'll give you all the books you want for, for your sunshine. <laughs> so, anyhow, um, yeah, I'm about to head out. What's nice is I get a, got an actual address. Half the people around here, I mean, they're real well-meaning, but they don't know of GPS, I don't think. And it's like, uh, well, if you take 369, and then you're going to come to an oak tree at the end of the road. But if you hit old man Fletcher's house, you gone too far. And Fletcher don't like you turn around in his drive. You know, stuff like that. And and it's like, okay, so when I hit the oak tree, yada, yada. And it's it's just too much. <laughs> Especially when they're giving you directions that are, you know, an hour away. It's kind of funny. But uh, anyhow, you know, people are well-meaning. So, hey, look, if you haven't, please like and subscribe to my channel, The Book Peddler. You come with me on Picks Like Today. Um, and, and you always are, have the ability to, whatever you see, you have the ability to purchase if you're interested. So, um, okay, I'm on the road. I'll see you guys when I get there. Try to take a little video inside if they're comfortable with it. We'll see you guys.